Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft Survival. As you can see, my iron farm is now up and running. It's perfect, it's uh, got a stack of 12 pieces of iron, 18 poppies, just from uh, about an hour or two of running. It's pretty good. You know, and this is in my spawn trunk, so it'll be running all the time, but today we're not going to be working here since it's completely done. The iron farm is finished. I finished it yesterday. Today, I mean. Yeah, even though we've been working there for the past few episodes, today we're going to be working on... Can you guess? Can you guess what we're working on? Yeah, I probably made that too obvious. Uh, we're gonna be making the squid farm. Okay, so I don't blame if you if any of you don't know what the squid farm is, because um, I built this off camera. I basically just built a giant cube of water that's actually all flowing downwards, and then um, basically the squids come down here, they drown, and they just kind of, uh, their insects just lie around on the ground. Now, that is what we do not want. Insects lying around is not good. Excuse me, I need some water there. Um, what is good, however, is an automatic collection system. So we have this area back here, crafting table and all the ink sacks, but today we're going to be automizing this. So, I believe the first logical step is to plan it out. So, we're going to need uh, some 8x8 things, so this will literally take every last bit of cobblestone that I have on me, but I'm going to need a layer here put the minecart tracks on that and then we will go down one no wait wait a second wait a second no no we'll have a layer here and then we'll have a a hopper minecart that runs around picking up everything right yes oh then we don't even need to remove this we just need to remove these torches Place them one block further down. Simple enough. Then we will just actually remove these torches entirely. So actually, I believe the first thing we're going to want to do is set up the rail line. Yeah, that one makes sense. Okay. So. The rails will need to start about over here. Have a little too long, not little, just we'll have a too long thing right here to activate it, and then that should take the hopper minecart to about, well let's make a hopper minecart, that was kind of silly, we do need a hopper minecart, don't we, which means we'll need a chest, a hopper, and then we'll combine that with an entity dot for minecart writable dot name. And what happens when we put it here? Okay, it goes all the way to the end. It's promising. So for now, I suppose let's just lay out rails all the way along. Yay, achievement get Noah crafted all the rails that he needed beforehand. Let's just see where this gets us. Okay, so definitely we're going to need a little bit of a, um, I said um, I'm sorry, area at the end here. Let's just put down some torches. So how far will this go? It's pushed back into the corner. Okay, so it goes all the way along there. You know what? I have 32 rails. We can afford to be all rich and magical and stuff. And I am using a silk touch pickaxe. That is a bad idea. Whatever. The point is powered. We we even have a rich enough supply of these rails to do it even longer than that. And then we can have, you know, another three long one right here. Like so. I don't know why I'm using a silk touch pickaxe, that's probably a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, come on, I can just I can just finish this up. And I 
like so. Okay, so how is it going now? Is it pretty fast? Because I want it to be a fast farm. No, no, turn around. Yeah, that should keep it at top speeds. I don't want it to slow down at all. Okay, so. And I should be using a pickaxe. Yeah, that's that's much better. Using a pickaxe. You can just go over there. And we don't actually need one in this row because we already have that. Okay, torches in all the holes. And this hole too. Okay. Blocks above them. And... And I've messed everything up. Fabulous. Give me back my rails. You only need to connect there. That needs to connect there. That connects there. And that connects there. Okay. That's decent. Let's check out how this works. Does it work well? Does it cover all of the ground? It should. It should. And it's got lots of powered rail, so I don't think you can really stop running. So, okay. That's good. Let's just remove those, put one here. Oh, oh right, one more thing. We'll need a few hoppers, because we want, like, a chest down here from which we can collect, collect all of our ink sacks. Just get up here. Yeah, because, see, this chest is in an inconvenient place. We want to put all the ink sacks that are in short-term storage down here. Yes, yes. That would be good. Right, so... How can we kind of connect these up? Well, if this is where it comes behind... Yeah, yeah, that will work. So I suppose we can just extend the rail line if I want. And then that way I'll have to craft less hoppers. Yeah, that will be easier. I'll just craft one more hopper in that case instead of, like, 50. And... This isn't very redstone-y. I, I know, it's just, I'm automate, I'm automizing it. And that requires stuff, and I really have too many hopper minecarts in my world. And I don't even need that hopper, do I? Nope, I don't, because hopper might, no, yes I do, because I don't want to have, okay, I should really make another one, because I don't want to have a rail line running over the chest or over the hopper that's right there, where you can see it, so. Yes, 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 come on, I just want to make a hopper. Okay, then one more hopper, funnels into here, it will funnel in, right? Should all go in the chest? Yep. Okay. We shall put down this granite, and we'll probably put a better, cooler design later on. So wait, will this bounce is my question. Will it bounce if it goes in this direction? And it will pick up speed pretty fast. Um, nope, it stays still. That's annoying. So what if I actually put a power drill there? Will that work? I mean, it will work, but my question is, will the hopper minecart actually deposit the items that it is given? Okay, let's see, let's see. Because you know, the hopper might be powered or something. bucket of water. I take that back. This is almost a fully functional squid farm in that case. Come on. Go along. Yes, yes. Stay right there, hopper minecart. While I put in these other rows. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'll leave that. 
put in this giant row of cobblestone. Oh, oh wait, I don't know if I can still push that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there must have been a piece of cobblestone in here. Yep. Okay, I actually got a bunch in my inventory there. Let's just push it that way with that one. See if we can exit in time for a. Uh, So now, say I was a pathetic, innocent squid, wandering around here. I just happened to fall into these signs and I died and I spurted my breadstone torches all over the place. Ugh. Will I get all of these redstone torches? Tooth? Wait, where are my ink sacks? Okay, I see two redstone torches. Where are the rest of them? Okay, so it only deposits two items at a time. That is, to say the least, worrying, but it's, it's fine. It's not going to be like a massive income farm anyways. Yeah. Okay, there's my si those are my six torches coming back. So, our squid farm should be fully operational now. Okay, if I just put these 27 ink sacks- uh, Yeah, you know what, I'll just take them with me. Yes, yes, so we should have an operational farm at this point. In time. Okay, that that's good. It looks terrible. I'll decorate it sometime in the future. Probably in the next episode I'll work on like the finer details how it all looks but yeah this is my giant squid farm okay okay one final test what happens if I throw a minecart all the way from up here let's go downstairs and check it out and then that will be the end of the video hello minecart come back to me <laughs> Sorry, I was just drinking some more water. Yes. Entity.minecartwritable.name has been safely returned to me. So, I suppose that means that we have a fully functional squid farm. Haha. -ha. Well, that's good. All of my squid spawns will meh when I'm in the area. Well, I'll just funnel down in that, to that chest, which is, uh, where is the entrance? I lost my way. <laughs> Please? Where's the entrance? Oh, is it down here? Okay, yes, okay. So, I suppose then that, that would be the end of the episode. So... Thank you ever so much for watching this squid farm building. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, however long that may be. Goodbye!